Welcome to the Lone McLungan Review. Then go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to be kept up to date with all my latest shenanigans. Ahem. So, remember them point and click games that, well, if you're of a certain age, used to play all the time? And then time moved on and you don't really get them so much nowadays. What with your Call of Duties and Fort Knittings? Well, Lone McLonegan is one of them games. And it's certainly captured that retro look and sound down very well. And just like a lot of point and click games, you will point and yes, you click at objects and people you want to interact with. And you even get an inventory to collect, store, then use items you need to well, advance the story along. You can look, pick up, interact and um, kick. Yes, kick and you do use it strangely enough. The story can actually be quite funny and also do that break in the fourth wall thing. Well, break more like atomize sometimes, but all in the name of fun. Although I will say here that not all the actual jokes hit a home run. Talking to the NPCs is normally fun and adds to the story, but clicking on the wrong choice when it's time will result in you having to dredge through all the dialect of that part in order to pick the correct response. I will also say make sure you hover your cursor over everything as one mixed corner can have you confused for a good while and this did happen to me a couple of times. And as for them controls, well they're good enough but can feel a little bit fiddly at times, positioning icons and the like. And also like most games of this style, there's also a degree of having to think like the devs. But there is enough here to keep you busy for a few hours and it's as I said, funny and even has some plot twists. The good, I really do like the look and sound of this game. When it's funny, it is funny. I did enjoy the story as well. The bad, controls being fiddly at times, wrong decisions can be going back and picking again. And as for that all important score, I hear you cry. Well, I'm going to give Lone McLongan a pretty reasonable 3 plus out of 5. It's a fun adventure that's funny enough with a great setting to keep you riding through to the sunrise. And as for my alternative I hear you cry, well, I'm going to say Deponia. It's one of them games I've been meaning to play for quite a while now but haven't quite found the time to do so yet. I do like the pirate type tone and feel to the game and it does look like it's got quite a few funny parts to the game as you play into it. So what are your thoughts on Lone McLonegan? I think I'm pronouncing that right anyway. <laughs> Leave them down in the comments after all that's where they belong and I do try to answer as many if not all that I can. And why not hit that like and subscribe button it will help the channel and also keep you up to date on all my latest content. And also, come and join us in our community Discord. It's free, we're welcoming, and you're happy to come and chat about the things we all love, i.e. gaming and Nintendo Switch. Because life is better when we switch together.